Brendan here from Advanced Radio and today I'm going to be taking you through the dual battery backup reg switch. What is it? How does it operate? And how do you change the voltage inside the unit? Now when you get it out of the packet you'll notice it's got two battery inputs and two battery outputs. They're all XT30s. It also has a switch port and an LED port. Now the switch and LED depending on the option that you pick when you purchase it uh, may look like something like this or it may be a combined unit like one of our push button switches there. They will both work with the reg switch. What is it? It's designed to regulate receiver packs, so high voltage packs down to 7.4, 6.66, or I believe 5 volts. Um, and the way the regulator works is it's a set and forget regulator. You set it once and you're good to go. Now it does have battery sharing in it. It is also a fail safe switch. So if you're running dual batteries, you've got the redundancy, you've got the battery sharing, um, and you've got a fail safe switch all built into uh, this small unit if I hold it in my hand and it's also got the regulation in it. So this is great for running either a single or dual receiver setup, um, and it will run with any receiver or any power distribution unit if you want to use it that way too. I've got a Futaba receiver here, and I've got a Spectrum receiver here, just to show that it will work with those sort of receivers, or if you want, you can use it with something like a Smooth Flight 10, or if you really wanted to, you could use it with one of our new Smooth Flight 20 Pros, okay? So, how do you set the regulation? Very, very easy to do. What you do is you flip it over, and you'll see there's two little screws there. You'll need a 1.5 mil driver, and we just unscrew those. Two little screws. And you'll see that the back case can come off. Now, we have, if I bring it close, We've got two little things on the back here. We've got these tiny little vibration proof dip switches and we've got these voltages here. This is a key, so the white spaces, if you mimic the switches with the white space, you can either set it to 7.4, 6.6, 6.7 or 5 volts. Right now this is set to 5 volts as standard, but you can increase the voltage if you want to. Once you're done flicking these little dip switches, all you do is get that little backing plate again, pop it back on top, make sure that you do the screws up nice and tight, and you're good to go. So that's how to set up the AR dual battery backer reg switch, set the voltage on it, and some of the features about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and please stay tuned for more videos coming soon.